If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. In my today's session, we will discuss the order to cache process. What is order to cache process? First of all, we discuss it. As is anyone Google it or see what is the order to cache process? So many Tolu or to Wellington, anyone? Can you repeat the question? What is the order to cache process? Has anyone Google it or see any definition of this process? No, this was your assignment. Remember that uh, in last day, I gave this assignment to you. Is that the beginning to end of a process of creating an invoice? Uh, creating it? Creating it and also um, paying it out and all that. That is very generic that you utilize yeah. these words. So, Okay. Anyone, any other? Receiving and processing customer orders. Receiving and process customer orders. Okay. No, so can anyone tell me that what are the major steps in this order to cash process? Um, the steps would be order management, order fulfillment, um, credit management, invoice, and then payment collection. Mm -hmm. You just Google it, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so, and so yes, you are right. So order to cash, order to cash means that the process where you sell out something to customer and on the, on the behalf of selling, you receive some amount. Customer and receive amount. This is a smaller definition, okay? Sell item to customer and receive a mark. This is a small definition. But if uh, in this small definition, if I go step by step, steps, sorry, steps, number one, two, three, four, and five. So the first step that is that, that if I show you a diagram, that on first order to see process, order to cash process, you receive order. Once you receive order, means that someone approach you or a customer approach you and said that I need a cell phone. So first of all, what you will check, you receive the order from the customer that you receive one cell phone and that is iPhone. You have an IT company and you basically distribute the goods as well. So you receive this order and you will check your uh, organization's quantity balance that either you have uh, that item or not. If you have the order, if you have the item in your, in your warehouse or in your shop, then you will fill the order. Filling order means that you fulfill the order. Fulfill the orders. Once you fulfill the orders, then you will ship the order. Now in the fulfillment and the shipment, there are multiple processes or multiple steps are also there. That, uh, that packing, picking, 
picking means you select item from the in your warehouse and then you packed it and once you packed it then you stage it stage it means you uh, send it to your uh, courier department or the courier uh, premises where they picked the item and then send it to customer once customer pick uh, you uh, courier the item the customer receive the items and once you receive it then customer with the with the item you send it the invoice as well that i'm sending this item iphone and this is the price of this iphone and on the basis of invoice the customer make a payment and you basically receive a payment and once you receive the payment in cash then you record the payment and once it will record it then the recording completed in your system in the in the system means work day then your process will be completed in receiving and recording there are two more steps that either you are receiving a cash either you are receiving credit card either you are receiving uh, eft electronic payments okay so for example for example you go uh, you go to google as you google it just give you example more example and we have amazon.com no amazon.com we have multiple product like if i amazon.com iphone or samsung s20 yeah s20 ultra so this is the uh, this is the order you are going to place it now for this order you just what you will do you add to the list okay you will ask me the continuation okay so so this is the uh, item specs. So once you will uh, place the order, it will cart you, and then it will ask you the <clears throat> your address where you want it. And uh, once once the cart will be completed and you confirm it, currently unavailable. That is not in a stock. So this is first you will check it that this is currently not available. So you find it iPhone. 30 pro max case something this is the case just 31 dollar so this is in stock here you are directly placing the order so once you place this order and add the card it's added and once it will be added then proceed to checkout it has again ask me the this point but point is that once you book it and once you book it then you basically receive the order and once the you receive, they receive the order <clears throat> they <clears throat> they pick the item from from fulfillment the order and the, for the fulfillment they will process the order and once it will process it there in fulfillment there are four major steps if I say that uh, receive order, receive order, then fulfillment. In fulfillment, we have further steps, and the further steps means <clears throat> you are basically completing the order. So, in fulfillment, we have Shipping, <clears throat> or we can place it here as it is. Ship, and then once it will be shipped, in ship we have basically pick, 
back and shift. These are three steps. Once it will be picked, that iPhone is back now. Packing packed, and then DHL. Send it through DHL. Let's just shift. Now in the ship, once it will ship, then the fourth point is again that you receive or create customer invoice. Once invoice will be created, then it send it to this shipped as well, DHL. Once you receive the item uh, invoice and then what happened? Then you will re receive payment. And receive payment means that again, the three uh, payment terms will involve payment term. Payment type. And in this payment term and the type, payment term mean within immediate means that once the, you receive the item, you will pay on cash. Or if you have a dealing with deal with the customer, then you have that is net 30. Okay. Payment types are basically EFT, credit card, cash, or check. So in this type that payment, you will receive the payment, for example, in check. This is the check payment. Then number six, you record it record payment once you record it okay once you record it then what happened you deposit it deposit to because this is a check so check always you deposit to the bank so the receive order is basically a sales order Sales order is nothing but an agreement between you, customer, and seller. And this agreement basically gives you the all the directions that where it is from which iPhone that is basically picked, you can select as well as per your uh, need, but uh, this normally select, selected by the seller that, for example, you are in New, New York, then they will send it the phone from the New York warehouse. So they pick it there, pack it and ship it. If you are in the China, so they never send it to you iPhone from Ch uh, New York, they will, you know, minimize their shipping cost and send it from the China warehouse. But if there is no warehouse, then definitely they will send it to you Send, send it to you from uh, your main warehouse, okay? Like Amazon did, okay? So once it will be there, then they have multiple courier options, either ship a DHL, TCS, some uh, MNP, this is the major, or this is something like, uh, Cargo, rail. Those, these are the all the options are there. By ear, by car, by ear, by rail. Okay, and uh, further we have payment terms that we discussed in our, uh, you know, previous session, and the payment types that we also discussed this one, and then we have record payment. Recording the payment and deposit the payment. So we will see that how we can record the payment and deposit the payment. So first of all, so we have to create all of this uh, requirement or for all of this process, we need to create some setup. And that setup requires which area? 
first of all the sales item for the that we have discussed that iphone and then for this sales item we need to confirm the customer every customer has the category and the cat, cat, customer group okay and that customer have some you know payment terms and payment types so these are the payment terms and the payment type that we will define and for this against this payment term we need to record the payment and the recording of payment is something like bank bank branch and bank account so the same way that we did in our p2p cycle so this is o2c cycle where we define the sales sales item customer payment terms payment types bank bank branch bank account okay now i am going to define the accounting posting rule this is the one thing that we need to define it and then for the bank again we will define the bank routing rule that how the bank will be process this transactions so this this is a major setup that you need to create it for your o2c process now if i talk about the accounting then we must understand that in which step the accounting will generate <clears throat> accounting so at the sales again no accounting is been generated if i go into the process here and put it here the accounting this is the proper area so at the sales we not applicable at the sales order fulfillment and shipped not applicable okay but here only the account is created not accounting accounting means what is the difference between accounting and account any idea any idea what is the difference between accounting and account no this is very generic question accounting means that that whenever the accounting happen then debit and credit will impact both debit and credit where account means that either either debit or credit will create in this case when when i fulfillment the order then only one account is being created that is the revenue account and other one is the cgs cost of goods sold cogs anyone have the idea what is the revenue account what is the cost of goods goods sold account so here the not the debit and credit only the revenue or cost of goods sold account will impacted when i ship the order no one have the idea what is the cost of goods sold account okay cost of goods sold account means that as it's mentioned that cost of goods sold
this account is basically nothing but the account for example for this pipe phone purchase or you can say manufacturing plus shipping cost all of this cost are basically clubbed into one account that is called cost of goods sold account and during this sold selling of goods all of the costing data are involved for example manufacturing cost plus operational cost administration cost overhead cost labor cost and shipping cost when means that let me elaborate one by one manufacturing means this is the iphone or you can say uh, yeah okay iphone is there now we basically manufacture this cost manufacture means that we we made this this item in our premises and during this premises we spent so many cost like uh, lcd is there its ram its ic's is all of this manufacturing cost all of item cost basically slash item cost so there are to build up this item like if i put it a laptop so we have lcd we have ram we have you know a charger we have hard disk we have so these are the cost that are involved do in a laptop manufacturing so all of these you purchase it or you made it all of this cost are assembled and create one laptop that is their item cost that is a laptop cost so all this cost that i club into one cost item that is for example that is 100 dollar okay so in 100 dollar then we have a operational cost operational cost is that we have uh, two one warehouse from warehouse to we send it to our stage area a stage area or stage area other words is called gate and then or we send it to our courier department so this is the one laptop might be there is a big order then this is a you know 400 laptop or 500 laptops so this is the operational cost that during this uh, you know from one place to another place we send it we have some cost that is bear up that is a 50 dollar 20 dollar administration cost we have manager we have some salaries are there salaries then utilities bills then we have some rent that we have warehouse that is some rent office rent something so these kinds of cost are clubbed into this one and this we said that for one laptop we calculated 30 dollar and then overhead cost overhead cost means that other than this cost any cost like sales and marketing we have a team some promotional so we said that this is the 70 dollar we have it some labor cost labor cost is basically club into the item cost because this is the only item cost so some labor involved who assembled this item if i take up at the top so these are the individual items lcd ram charger hd so the labor who assembled this item into one product assembled meaning that from raw material to finished goods 
so this is the labor cost who basically create one laptop and that is some labor that i paid it 150 dollar labor is i labor cost is i then once it will be assembled and then we send it to courier department courier department is send it to the shipping shipping some dhl again the same that we noted down here this is the shipping department who bear some cost so that cost is basically club into something one iphone as they said that we charge 170 dollar so this all the cost that are club and then if i sum up by 40 dollar now this is the cost of goods sold but you sell it this item to customer and to offer it at the amazon sell it or the sales order that you offer this uh, item to the customer is $700. So the cost, cost of goods sold and the selling cost, the difference between two, what is the difference is called? If I minus it. Okay. Yes. Profit. This is a profit gross profit so this is the profit that you so the gross profit so after the gross profit if you pay some taxes some other cost then you will have a net profit so this is the altogether the profit we have so from cost of goods sold till the revenue revenue is our total amount that we receive it the 700 this is the revenue, 700 is our profit. So my, I was talking about the accounting and account. So only this account that is basically assigned to whenever we ship or create a sales order, but the real accounting that is happened at the time of, uh, you know, uh, creating the or placing the order. So when you place this sales order, okay, and you shipped it, once you ship it, then what happened? Your first accounting entry will be generated at the time of shipping. So in the shipping, the accounting entry that is generated, that is account receivable debit. And what will be the credit? Anyone? Yes. Can you speak a bit low? Cash? No, cash is not yet. You haven't received the cash. You just shipped it. Cash, basically, you okay. receive at the time of payment. So the item that we ordered? No. So the point is that I already just updated you the revenue account. Basically, you uh just book the order that this revenue i just generated out myself and i will receive a amount from a person any person named that is there who, who purchased this item okay so once the revenue account is will be uh, credited then this is basically invoice part that the account receivable debit or revenue account is credited. Here only the revenue account is just a revenue and a cost of a goods account is happened there. Now, and reminded that once the uh, we shipped it, that uh, uh, this invoice, sorry, this is invoice part. That is the account is generated for the amount of how much? $700. Okay. Revenue is our income and income is basically I plus
account receivable is our what is the type of this account anyone short term asset assets good so the assets are plus so it's i just received the uh, sorry uh, create the assets that i will receive amount from my uh, customer when the customer make a payment i receive a payment there are two steps here one receive a payment and record a payment if cash is there then there is no recording they just uh, uh, you know just receive it and then uh, you will have it like cash debit if you receive a payment and cash is our assets and what will be the credit amount credit account accounts receivable yes account receivable a plus a minus now a minus so this is what the with the amount of 700 you receive cash and if you didn't receive the cash what will be the accounting entry if you receive a check from your customer then your account or accounting will change here in it will go into the next step and the next step will be for example if i book it if check receive and deposit it so if you receive a check there are there you know i will show you as well if you, if you receive a check and just receive a check didn't deposit it two cases check received but not deposit check receive and deposit deposit where in the bank if you receive a check then and de not deposit then what is the accounting entry that will be un deposit account debit and account receivable credit the same it's 700 okay and then if you receive this check today and today's date is 05 november 2021 this you receive it today now you're going to deposit and you deposit it on today some some due to some reason you didn't deposit it on tomorrow when you deposit it then you will bank account debit and this undeposit account that will be clear clear this is what the accounting will be another this is this this is the clearing account this one is the clearing account this one is the clearing account <coughs> okay and uh, so ultimately if i go and see that what is the ultimate account then you will see that my cash account okay the second transaction cash receive and deposit directly then check receive and deposit directly then your you will have this this account if check receive and deposit then bank account debit again okay, and account receivable credit then there will not be any 
any uh, clearing account directly deposit on the same day on the 5th of november okay now the point is that what is the ultimate accounting entry because this one is uh, asset account and which is debit and credit both way this one is also debit and credit so for this cash transaction your revenue account cash will be debited and revenue account will be credited that is your ultimate account so cash is debit if i take this name cash Revenue debit. This is your ultimate transaction. Whereas for the bank, that is your ultimate transaction. That bank account debit and your year account credit. Almost the same with seven hundred dollars. Any confusion? or you want to have any clarification you didn't understand just tell me no all clear all clear i think then this is the accounting entry that has been generated. So I will show you. First of all, we have to design this accounting entries. And that is the, what is that? Account posting rule. That at which step, at which step, which account will be impacted? At the invoice, this account will be impacted. At the cash receipts, this account will be impacted and deposit, undeposit, record, unrecord, and that how, which account will be impacted during this transactions, okay? This we will see in account posting rule. Let's go into the system. And I will first show you all of this account. So we have here account posting rule. View account posting rule that we already created. And we have here standard. Again, we have already visited this uh, page. So here we have to find the relevant account and place the relevant area. So this is what is receipt accruals, receivables. This is account receivable account. Receipt accruals is there. This is, okay, so receipt accrual is the item area. So what is the receivable write-off? What is the receivable overpayments? We will learn this one as well. Then the revenue account. So revenue and the receivable. These are, this, these are the two major account. Revenue account and receivable account. So if I show you here, the revenue account is my, this one. This is the first accounting entry that we need to set it. So if I take this part to separately <coughs> I'll take this accounting entry downward uh, this one
Okay. So this is the count that this is the with respect of workday, which account we need to set it. This is account receivable, and this is account revenue. Okay. And then we have again at top is the cash. This one is the cash. Again, you can add it the cash and based on your, we will set up this one as well. And once the cash will be there, then automatically account receivable already there. So receivable account will be credited automatically and cash will be impacted. As well. Whereas undeposited account, account receivable again, one account will already be defined here. Undeposited account and bank account account is basically linked with the cash here you can in the cash you can place the condition here if the bank account is this then it i guess which transaction it should be it so the undeposited account we have it here undeposit account and deposit account if i take you up and deposited payments. This one is there. And then we have undeposited. And once it will be deposited, payment, this will be debit and credit where bank account will automatically taken from the cash. So we will set up this one already it's set up so in the system. So we will change as per our requirement. Number one. And then let's define the basic structure. The sales item and the customer. So first of all, I'm going to create the sales item. I will come back again when the so first of all the sales sales item create sales item sales item name again the again i am selling something so that is uh, HP laptop. Revenue category, similar to the spend category, if you categorize your revenue that in which area that revenue comes in, then the revenue category will be designed. So revenue category, you categorize your revenue as per your business structure. If I can show you the revenue category, just give me one minute. Uh, I think I don't have it right now. Okay, next time I will show you. Uh, just to revenue category. This is a report and then you can create as well. If I go to the report, then consulting fees, fixed fee services, intercompany interest income, netting, other income. So basically you categorize your product, shared services, warranties, okay? You categorize your revenue. If I want to create it, create revenue category. <clears throat> that I would say that this is a product cell. This is my category and I place it here HP. So that it will give me an idea, HP product cell. And if it is a child one, then I can map it with the main category as well. Right now I'm creating a simplest category. Any related work tax that you want to basically assign to, 
then you can assign as well division and that this is very simple form four values are there and just simply created hp product cell so once the revenue is created then again i will go back to the sales and search it have a hp product cell if there is any alternate name then hp 1010 this is the code of this laptop and then sales item description if it is a detail item description hp model 1010 and 128 gb ram any identifier identifier means again the code hp 1010 is the code item group if you want to group your item then you can group as well group by we bundle items it depends grouping means that for example it's uh, have the charger as well it have the uh, cd uh, dvd rom as well so this you can group into one item and if it's a part of any group then you can make a group as well i am not pressing anything now on my right side sales item in a bundle bundle means you are sending in a, in a, in a bundle then there are multiple items that are been uh, you know club into one item so fulfillment required again the fulfillment is the step after the sales order is created so if you didn't check it then fulfillment will not be performed so right now i am just creating one item and if this item is mapped with the another item then you can call the item purchase item as well so just to that you purchase it and then sell it hp pro dl is this one that you can link it with existing item and then revenue <clears throat> treatment this is only for invoices accrued or deferred unit of my years just selected the box each it's up to me is something each secondary unit of measure if each not each then the second will be confirmed price is something 700 dollar because we call calculate our price is 700 currency is usd and then if i go down that's it in a simplest way i just created my item click okay and my item is created so i just created my item then we will customer in customer we will create it tomorrow that uh, that this uh, against this uh, item to whom we want to sell it okay so create customer customer payment customer group customer category that we discussed it today in the order to cash process this one so this we will come we'll do it tomorrow till now any question so tomorrow we will start up from the customer creation okay okay thank you guys for your time bye thank you for attending the session i hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest